This lesson will be a little bit different. I originally posted the lesson that you're gonna see on December 8th of 2010, over four years ago. Now I'm posting this lesson for a couple of reasons. One, I really like the pattern actually and use it all the time. Two is, I'm not scared to show the roots of this thing. I'm not scared to show where this has come from because I wanna encourage a lot of you that if you have a dream, if you have something that you wanna to work towards, if you have, whether it be musical or anything else in life, keep at it. Keep reinventing yourself. Keep working at it, get better at it. And I promise you, those dreams, those goals, you can hit them. So this lesson will be on a simple, but a really applicable drum fill. Now as a little something extra, before you watch the lesson, if you want to, follow the link below, and I've just released a free report, the top five pieces of drum gear from 2014 that I think everybody should have. One of them I use every day. It's a free downloadable report. Most of them are under $20, so they're really affordable, and all of them are super practical. If you're already on the email list, you have that waiting in your inbox now. And now, without further ado, in all of its glory, with all of its faults and flaws, here's a lesson that I posted over four years ago. cover just a simple fill. Every, all, uh, all the time we get into these complex fills and these complex patterns and how fast can we do it now? And some of the best fills are just simple ideas orchestrated around the kit well. So I want to do a simple idea today. 16th notes, nothing fancy. You're going to start it off slow and, um, and then you can take it from there. Put it in six tuplets, put it in whatever you want to, uh, but take the, the the simpleness of the of the the lick and then go from there. There's no foot involved unless you want to involve that foot later, um, but right now we're just going to do it with the hands. So here's essentially the sticking. The last four beats can either be doubles or singles. So. Right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, left, or right, right, left, left. Let me get that right. Right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, left, or right, left, right, left. So. Okay, now let's take those accents, slow it down a little bit, and we're gonna put it around the drum kit. That's the fill. Now let's put it into a slower groove.
once you got it slow, of course, speed it up just like with everything else and work on just incorporating, going in and out of it, doing different patterns with it. There's no set pattern for this. Just maintain the sticking. Right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, right, left, left, or a singles at the end, four singles, right, left, right. Pretty cool, huh? Something so simple can turn into something pretty cool whenever you just play around with it and take your time with it. So it doesn't have to always be this fast, and you always have to play it fast. It sounds cool slow, too. So, see you next time. Hopefully you can find as much use for that pattern as I have. Follow the link below, download the free report of the top five pieces of drum gear from 2014, at least in my book. Be sure and tune in Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday of this week for new videos. Jump over to Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook and hang out with me there. And if you want to dive into some lessons with me, follow the link below, take a tour of the student area, see what the website has to offer. But regardless, I'll see you here in the next video.